Hello, my name is David Fitzpatrick. I'm an educational consultant for RM Education. Many of the schools I currently work with are very worried about the coronavirus outbreak and the implications for them having to close their schools. In light of this, I've devised a simple way for schools to create virtual classrooms to enable remote teaching if the schools need to close. Firstly, I've generated a simple survey asking students to outline what access to ICT they have from home. For example, if they have a PC or a laptop, if they have connection to the internet, if they have a smartphone or tablet. Once that information has been gathered, the school can then decide whether it is viable to create some virtual classrooms that students can access from home. Once this decision has been made, teachers simply go to Google, they click on the nine squares, the mosaic at the top right, and they click here onto Google Meet. From here, they join or start a meeting, and they type in their name. Continue. I'm now going to switch off my microphone for the making of this video tutorial, but you would obviously keep your switched on. And then I'm going to click on to join meeting. And then I'm presented with some information that I need to give students in order to join this virtual classroom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the URL and I'm going to copy it. I'm now going to go to RM Unify where a tile to the virtual classroom has been created. Clearly, if you are a school without RM Unify, you could add this link to your school's website. But when a teacher clicks onto this link, they are presented with a spreadsheet, and on the left-hand side, they can see their name, and simply right-click and paste the Google Meeting address next to their name. Students also go to RM Unify or the school's website and click onto the virtual classroom. They then look for their teacher who they have a lesson with at this moment in time and they can also see the address of the Google Meet. Now clearly students are read only to this spreadsheet so they can only click on the link, they obviously can't edit or change it. So as a student, I click onto the link and I go into the teacher's virtual classroom. You may want your students to switch off their microphones so the lesson doesn't become too noisy, but they could always switch these in later if they wanted to ask a question. And then you tell them to join the meeting. As I go back to a teacher, you can now deliver your lesson to that student and importantly you can go to present now on the bottom right, click on to present a window, choose your window and share and now what's happening on this screen will be presented to your students. So at this point you could open up a Google slide or a Google doc and that's what your students would see. If you look on the top right, you will see which students have joined your class. And if you wanted to, you could click next to a particular student and remove them from your lesson if they should no longer be there. Once you've finished your lesson, you simply click onto the leave call button on the bottom of the screen and that virtual classroom has finished. Next lesson, teachers would simply open up a new Google Classroom, virtual classroom using Google Meet, and put the URL back into the spreadsheet if it needs to be changed. 